Hey, cleaning up at the end of the day is a really important routine for lots and lots and lots of reasons. This classroom has been a project of mine for years and I think that you guys deserve to have a cool space to, to create in. It should also be a clean space when you walk in. Here's what the end of each table should look like. We've got the yellow table here, the scissors for that table, there's three cardboard cutters. You can see the cleaning supplies are here. Tape goes on this little loop. Make sure that we're matching the colors and we're not letting it get messed up. When we start leaving things out, when we stop unplugging things, when we start leaving scraps here and there, what happens is that the next class, well, they don't want to clean up after you and they, they're less able to clean up after themselves because their scraps get added to your scraps. And over time, we just end up with a classroom full of clutter. So when the alarm goes off at the end of the hour, make sure that you have your, your pencil, make sure you've got your white packet, any other things that we're working on in class, get them in your project box, put your project in there, and store it right away. You're gonna wipe the tables down. There's a spray bottle, there's wipes. We're gonna try to get the, the dust picked up every hour so that the next class is walking in on a perfectly clean classroom. The hot glue guns, make sure that the flags are all up and make sure that all of the, the dust mopping happens, that around the room we're not collecting stuff. As we leave stuff out, what ends up happening is somebody will leave their journal, someone will leave their packet out and no one else will notice it because the, the classroom's full of other stuff too. But if they know they walked into a clean classroom, they know that I expected to get back to clean and it, it deserves to be clean every single hour, people will start to notice the things that they have left out or their classmates have left out. Here's what a table looks like and the chairs are pushed in. So let's make sure that we are using our cleaning time well, make, make sure that we are respecting ourselves and respecting the space that we're in. Make sure that it's not just the same people having to do the exact same jobs day after day. Last thing, make sure you don't line up at the door. Lining up at the door is when stuff gets broken, stuff gets misplaced. People sort of skip out on, on what they could be helping with because they, they want to line up with their friends. And I understand it. If you finish early, just stand by your seat. It'll be great. Thank you.